Hello viewers, in this session we will discuss about what is tender, tender documents or contract documents, then we will discuss about points to be considered while writing tender notice and in the last segment we will discuss about how to write tender notice. So let us start with tender as we have already discussed about the tender in previous lecture tender is an offer but in writing for the executing certain specifications for particular grade of the concrete work for particular type of the contract for the particular type of the concrete work there is a specific certain work and we can say for the supplying the certified material subject to the certain terms and conditions which has been mentioned in the contract with particular rate it means the total amount of the project and the time limit it means the time duration of the project so this is the tender now let us discuss about notice inviting tender NIT this notice is displayed on the newspaper. We generally observe that the many notice is displayed on the newspaper. So this is the one of the examples. So we can understand what is tender notice. So you can see on your display there is the mention that the many data in this tender notice. For example name of work it means in that case there is the mention the brief introduction of the work misconstruction of the particular type of the structure particular type of the building and the second thing the estimate it means the cost of the work and you can see on your display there is mention the tender processing fee for the standard for this project work EMD earnest money deposit is generally one to two percentage of the total cost of the project and next one is tender document for the construction work and the any other details you can see closing of the online submissions of the tenders and the time and date online opening of the technical bid so there are the many information mentions in the tender notice and you can see on your slide now let us discuss about tender form in the tender form there should contain the general description of the work the type of the work and the location of the work and the other important data should be mentioned regarded to the construction work and the next one is estimated cost of work after the finding the quantity of the all the activities we can easily find out the total cost of the work with a rate of the particular event next one is the detail of earnest money deposit emd because the while the filling the tender from the contractor side he has to pay the emd of the work it's generally one to two percentage of the total cost of the project and there should be also mentioned the details of security deposit it's generally around 10 percentage of the total cost of the project next one is time of completion work how much time for the particular type of the construction works like six months three years six years it's depending upon the type of the project and there should be mentioned the signature of the contractor before the submission because this is the authorized person who is 
passing through this tendering process so in that case there is required the signature of the contractor because he is participated in the bidding process next one is signature of witness to contractor signatures so this is the one type of the security for the client and the last one is signature of officer by whom it is accepted in sometimes the superintendent engineer accepting the this type of the form in sometimes the other authorized person is accepting this type of the form so in that case the when the person is accepted so there should be mentioned the signature of person who is accept this tender form so this is all about the tender form now let us discuss about tender document and contract document so in the tender document and the contract document there should be mentioned the title page next index of that form next tender notice which we have already discussed in in starting of this session next is the conditions of contractors like special conditions general conditions there should be mentions the conditions of contractor and schedule of quantities because the total quantity of the work will help to cut the rates by the contractor and next one is special terms and conditions if there is required for that type of the work next general specifications and detail specifications for example concreting work is mentioned but in that work in that work there is required the particular special type of the concrete for example self compacting type concrete is required for that work so there should be mentioned the special conditions and specifications and terms and conditions in tender document and approved drawing now let us discuss about points to be considered while writing the tender notice in starting of this session we discuss about the tender notice but for example you are a client and you want to write the particular notice for example you want to display a notice and you want to offer a particular type of the structure to the market so in that case you have to consider the few important points while you are writing notice first one is name of authorized inviting tender for example you are a client and you are offering a particular offer so in that case there should be mention the client's detail for example government body is offering a particular type of the structure so there should be mention about the authorized inviting for example road and building department for example irrigation department we are talking about public work department and there should be also mention if the work from the central public work department and if the private agencies is offering this type of the contract so there should be mention about the private agencies name and detail so first one is name of authorized inviting tender second thing the particulars of the contractors eligible to the submit tenders for example you are offering a heavy structure like bridge or any heavy industrial work so in that case we know that the double a class or a class contractor can do that work so if you are mention about the eligibility of contract can take the part of bidding process so there should be mention the eligibility of the contract to do that work for participating of this bidding process next one is name of work and its location name of construction work in detail where is the site and with the particular location so the contractor can quote the roads regarded to that information next one is 
estimated cost of work by the client side he displayed the estimated amount of total cost of the project for example 50 lakhs for example 10 lakhs for example 1 crore for example 5 crore rupees so it's estimated amount displayed by the owner and after the analyzing and with respect to the quantities the contractor will quote the particular amount from the contractor side next one is the cost of set of tender form we know that in the to participate in the bidding process all contractors should have to pay the particular amount which is known as cost of complete set of the tender form it is not a refundable it's generally 2000 to 5000 rupees of the construction work and next one is emd and st earnest money deposit and security deposit earnest money deposit is generally 1 to 2 percentage of the total cost of the project and security deposit is generally about 10 percentage of the total cost of the project now let us discuss about time of completion so how much time required for completing this work so there should be mentioned the time by the client side if you are a client and you are offering the work so how much time you are offering for completing that work for example six months for example three years it's, it's depending upon the type of the construction work but it is decided by the client side if the client is government so government body decide the time of completion next one is last date of sale of the tender paper there should be mentioned the last date of the tender paper next one is last date time limit and the place of the receipt of the sealed tender if the contractor has to give the sealed tender so there should be mentioned the, the last date and the time in that the contractor has to give the authorized person and Next one is date, time and place of the opening of the tender. And the next one is accepting authorities. And the last point is validity of tender. So you may understand about the which points should be considered. Now let us discuss about tender notice. As we know this notice inviting a tender paper is very important document on which the tender and subsequent agreements with the contractor are based and the, all the tenders notice are in generally in the standard form and it is displayed in the notice board of the subdivision divisions and is it, it may be displayed by the public by the newspaper so let us take an example of the sample tender notice so you can see on your slide the first starting with the tender notice number so there is mentioned the tender notice number for example the Gujarat the work is related to the Gujarat for the road and building department and the particular work so the tender notice number may be GUJ Gujarat slash rnb means road and building department slash and particular number so there is mentioned the particular number for the tender notice and in the first paragraph it's displayed that the seal tender is prescribed form for the following works are invited from the government contractors this is the filtration of the standard requirement of the contractor which type of the contractor can apply for that work double a class a class b class and they can reach this office up to before particular time and date so in the first paragraph there is a mention the eligibility of the contract at which time the contractor their office to collect the tender form and in the second paragraph shows that the blank tender form 
will be available on the payment of particular amount this is not refundable it's generally 2000 to 5000 rupees depending upon the type of the work but it is not a refundable and you can see on your slide in the last paragraph it shows that the there should be earnest money deposit emd but by the treasury receipt you cannot pay the emd by the check or the cash it, it that will be not allowed in the tendering process it should be there while you are performing the tender if if the emd is not filled so the tender will be rejected here you can see in that sample tender notice in the first column mention that the series number in the second column name of the work and in the third column mention that the estimated cost of the work earnest money emd and the tender fee and the time limit it means the total time duration of the project and in the last column it shows that the detail about the date and the time of the issuing bank tenders date and the time of the accepting seal tenders date and the time of the opening of the tenders and in the last segment here the date is mentioned name of the officers who will accept that work designation and department so this is the one of the sample tender notice so this all about tender notice after this session you may clear about what is tender notice what is important of the tender notice and which points should be considered while we are preparing the tender notice while we are offering a particular this type of the tender notice so this is all about the tender notice thank you